found this post from Math Landry 12. This is about two months ago. And I'm just going to go over the post, give my little thoughts behind it. Uh, and then, you know, we can go back and forth on this. We need more ways to get primal shards. Recently, I just did a video where I pulled a bunch of primal shards. And I think I've pulled maybe somewhere between 60 to 70 in total. And I don't have a mythical champion. And this isn't me complaining about why, why, why I don't have a fucking mythical champion. I'm just talking about the math behind it. And community sentiment is that primal shards are basically red ancient shards. Uh, you know, someone else on a different Reddit post mentioned that. But let's go ahead and dive in here. I believe mythicals are a fun way. Oh, it says, I believe mythicals are fun and they are a good addition to the game. The problem is we don't get enough primal shards to summon them. True. Let's take a look at Hydra first place rewards. All right, so these are the rewards. We see we get some coins, we get primals. Sometimes we get mythical tomes. It's either one or the other. And this is the ornate gilded chest. I think this is like the, the number one chest, if I remember correctly. If it's not the first, it's the second. Basically, you get all these rewards. You still get five star gear, but you get some six star. You get some clan XP. And here's the big thing right here. You either get prism quartz, which convert into prism or um, primal quartz, which converts into primal shards. I think at like a hundred, or you get your mythical tome. So just keep that in mind. Let's assume you manage to get first place every week for one year. And by the way, if you don't know how it works, in order to receive these rewards, you need to place at least first, second, or third during Hydra Clash. So there's two different kind of rewards here. The first set of rewards are going to be the more PvE version of it, where you do Hydra as long as you get the top chest or you get any chest, you yourself will receive rewards. Hydra Clash is a little bit different. It's on this tab right here. And in order to receive rewards, you need to score in the top three. If you're fourth or fifth, you don't get anything. You get zilch. That's kind of a, a big, like, oh, damn, that sucks. Like, you, you don't get anything. So there's more incentive to at least place third. Now, out of placing first, second, or third, there are these rewards right here. These rewards have these things in them. And in order to get any chest here, whether or not you place first, second, or third, you need to at least score 35 million, personally. So if your total total score by the end of a Hydra Clash isn't at least 35 million, you're not going to get a reward, even if your clan places first, second, or third. So even if you guys place the top three, you yourself as an individual need to score enough right here. Let's say you also get a book half the time and Primal Quartz the other half, because that's the case. Finally, let's assume you always get the one mythical and the 100 Primal Quartz. That's the bare minimum. As you can see right here, it's either 1 to 135 or 1 to 2 per. This would net you 26 books and 26 Primal Shards. This means that after a year, you will be able to fully book two to three mythical champions, but you will need more than seven years before pulling your first mythical champion if you reach mercy i'll say it again for the people in the back you will need more than seven years before pulling seven years before pulling your first mythical champion if you reach mercy that's if you reach mercy and this is based off of going uh, just on the rewards from the primal course that you get from hydra so assuming this is the only way that you are trying to get um, free-to-play Primal Shards. You're going to need seven years if you're getting it from Hydra. And of course, we'll dive into it. There's other ways to do it. Um, like, they, Polarium gives out free Primal Shards here and there. Sometimes there's events and tournaments, but we're just focusing on this. How does that make any sense? He spelled sense incorrectly. I know they're supposed to be super rare champions, but the balance is just off. And it kind of is, right? Like, these guys are just insane. I've gone up against people in live arena who are like level 80-something, sometimes 70-something, and they just spent a lot of money. And they have a bunch of mythical champions. And, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm pretty much screwed. 
even though I go in with somebody like Taurus or Georgian and I got a neck rated Warlord and Yuma, you know what I mean? Sometimes the balance is just off. Some might say it's a skill issue. Some say it's a gear issue on my end. But I personally don't really like. Here's the thing. I've been playing for over five years. I've spent thousands in the game. I'm a balls deep end game player. I don't have crappy gear. I've got really good gear. It's not the best gear, but that just goes to show, right? Even me, with the thousands that I've spent, with balls deep end game gear, could still lose to somebody who spends even more than I do. Completely cracking out. It's just insane. And I'm not complaining. I'm just like astounded, basically. Am I the only one who thinks it's crazy? Am I, and am I the only one with mythical books? More mythicals than legendary books half the time. That's true. P.S. I know you get more shards through events, live arena, arena chest. Also, this is coming from someone who has our buy, the first free primal pull, and Makage. This is coming from somebody who has two mythical champions. I um, I didn't even know Live Arena gave Primal Quartz. I completely, like, neg I, I, I neglect Live Arena. I don't do it anymore. So I, that's, that's cool. I, I forgot about that. I agree that Primal Shards should be easier to acquire, but honestly, at 0.5% odds, it wouldn't really make much of a difference. If anything, they should drop, they should change the drop rates, which they don't. Liquid Mantis. I've been asking CCs to do this, to do videos on this for months. He's been asking CCs to do this for months, to talk about this for months. Luckily, I happen to be a CC. I've put the math on here a few times. Here comes the math. Even ultra active end game players, listen here, even ultra active, balls deep active end game players can't get more than about 100 primals per year. And it takes potentially, watch this, over 1,000 hours of game time to do this. I've amassed 48 primals since their release, including the freebies. I'm endgame. I don't buy shards. Most were earned on the way to Quintus in Live Arena. Again, this don't buy shards thing. You know, there's people who talk about whether or not you should spend or not spend in, in raid. Here's my two cents. It's your money. Do whatever the fuck you want. Okay? On the other hand, do I think it's like the best way to spend your money? Me personally... Who doesn't have money like that? I don't think so. But then again, I can't project my experiences onto other people. So there's that. The other thing that you free-to-play players need to remember. This game would not be free-to-play without the Krakens. You guys really need to understand and conceptualize that. We would not be able to do free-to-play challenges if it were not for the hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe even more, that the Krakens put into this game so really you should be thanking the krakens most were earned on the way to live arena these are my estimates for what's possible long term all right watch this 48 primals from live arena per year that is with 140 wins a month and that costs about 40 hours of gaming notice how i said it costs because it's costing time remember this is a gotcha game this isn't something new you got to remember you're giving time. Even if you're considering yourself free to play, are you really free to play? Because you're you're paying with time. All right? That's a month. 40 hours of gaming a month. Not realistic. That's like banging it out hard. Um, you get 26 primals from Clash per year, which we know isn't possible because you'd have to win every single Clash. I'm assuming that's why he's saying it's not possible. Five hours of manual keys. 20 hours of gaming per month. Yeah. This five hours of manual keys, that's why I don't do manual keys anymore. Unless I'm doing it for content. But for the most part, set it, forget it, walk away, go watch a show. Maybe three earn through events a month. 36 a year seems high. Generous of Polarium to be doing so. Maybe four hours of extra grinding. 12 daily logins and zero hours. Those estimates land at 122 primals a year. Roughly 800 hours of gaming. Compared to even Sacreds, which I'd say are at least 120 per year, are available and require a fraction of in-game grinding, plus give 12 times the summon rates, which is true. Especially when we start thinking about like 2Xs or 1 plus 1 events, right? Void Shards, three more 
roughly three times more abundant, at least more realistically, four to five, and require even fewer in-game hours, basically auto-farmed on a daily basis alongside sacreds, clan boss, remnant summons, specifically designed as a workaround to the primal mercy system. One summon equals the odds of around five primals. People would have to hit mercy in a year if primals were given instead. Now we've got a 2.5% chance system with effectively no mercy. So, in Centranos, you can collect remnant shards. That's what he's talking about here. The remnant shards add up. When you get 100, you can do one remnant summon pull. Uh, pull, pull and you have a 2.5% chance on one pull to hit um, to, 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 to get a mythical champion. And I think there is a mercy system, if I recall. I think it's like after your 24th, you start adding mercy after your 24th uh, remnant. Even end game players will require close to two years and 1500 hours of game time to hit mercy. Roughly one third of the player base will have to do so at normal summon odds. Polarium really just wants to sell mythicals at the $1,000 price tag in the shop bar non shard players uh buyers from getting them and that's true and you know it's gonna i'm gonna circle back to what i've always been saying you guys can't be mad at the nature of the beast this is polarium we know how they are this is nothing new if you don't like it find something else to do find a different game just quit that's a topic for a different discussion now do i want you to quit no i don't want you to quit but i also don't want you to sit here and complain and feel badly about something when I know that there's other options, there's other games for you to play, okay? So just, you know, keep this all in mind. I'm not telling you to leave, but, you know, I'm just sharing my my thoughts with you. I agree, one to two years is a good rate. Void Shards should be a bit more abundant now, too, as Mythicals have power crept them, and that's true. Mythicals have power crept hard. The easiest solution for now is to scrap the remnant summon, uh, summon system and just give up 10 primals a month from the Cursed City and Live Arena chest. They should be reduced a bit from 35 wins. I 100% agree. Mythical Champions Primal Shards exist to make Polaria money. If you think of a way to make them more obtainable while also making Polaria more money, I'm sure they'll listen. If not, they have no incentive to saturate the game with mythicals faster and force them to come up with a new monetization scheme. They should, however, make it... They should make however many it takes to hit Mercy available in a year. Yeah, for the free-to-play uh, players, I get around 450 shards a year. That's pretty good. Void shards. Two Void Legos guaranteed. I feel... Oh yeah, guaranteed two void legos because mercy starts at like what 200 more if you pull sensibly like during a 2x primals have been out for six months i've not even had a total of 50 same goes for the curse remnants 24 should be a guaranteed mythical there you go if you can clear curse city for a whole year you deserve it i agree add them to the doom tower give me legos first Rem remnant summons as well uh remnant summons as well five ish a month crazy how mythicals have the exact opposite Problem as legendaries, you have too many books and too few champions, that's true. And this guy says, just buy more in the shop. 